The Kansas City quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, is having a magnificent season. Also, since he started his career, he has almost defeated every NFL team. So which teams has he yet to win against? Also, Mahomes' stretch for a TD against the Seattle Seahawks makes fans think the quarterback has wrapped up the MVP award. Does he still have any competition for the award? Watch this video for full details. Starting us off, will Patrick Mahomes break an NFL record in Chiefs versus Seahawks? It's exciting to see NFL stars break records, so long as it isn't done against your team. Patrick Mahomes is primed to create NFL history when the Kansas City Chiefs play the Seattle Seahawks. In the Kansas City Chiefs overtime victory over the Houston Texans, the star quarterback completed his final 20 pass attempts, putting him five successful throws away from the league record of 25 straight pass completions. The Christmas Eve game against the Seattle Seahawks will thus be a success if the MVP contender starts with five or six pass completions. Patrick Mahomes will make history, and the Seahawks will too. This is not the primary emphasis of either team. Additionally, the record does not guarantee legend status. It's currently held by four different quarterbacks. Ryan Tannehill, who's done it twice, Marcus Mariota, Philip Rivers, and Nick Foles. Also, Mahomes has every right to encourage his team to consider winning the Super Bowl. The Kansas City Chiefs quarterback leads the NFL with 4,496 passing yards and 35 passing touchdowns for the 11-3 Chiefs, who won the AFC West for the seventh time in a row. Oh, and in each of his four seasons as a starter, he's already made two Super Bowl appearances and led the club to the AFC Championship game. Meanwhile, the Seahawks are 7-7 seven and seven and have lost four of their past five games, and they have yet to clinch an NFC playoff place when they face the Chiefs in an early slot game on Christmas Eve. Next, Patrick Mahomes has defeated almost every NFL team already. Given the scheduling formula, it is challenging for a quarterback to check off every team regarding career victories, but Patrick Mahomes Holmes is almost there. The holiday season has been in full swing lately, but it wasn't just Santa Claus who was checking things off his list on Sunday. Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes was too. In the spirit of the holidays, Mahomes was hard at work on Christmas Eve, carrying out a similar task to that which the big man in red, Santa, is renowned for doing. On Saturday, Kansas City defeated Seattle 24-10, allowing Mahomes to add the Seahawks to the list of NFL clubs he has defeated in his career. In just five seasons as a starter, Mahomes has already defeated nearly every club in the league, an amazing accomplishment. Apart from the Chiefs, of course, the Minnesota Vikings are the only club he hasn't defeated yet in his career, but they're also a team he hasn't faced. Matt Moore started at quarterback in the 2019 matchup between the Vikings and the Chiefs because Mahomes was out with a knee injury sustained against Denver a few weeks earlier. He won't have to wait very long to try to defeat them as well. In 2023, the Vikings and Chiefs will play in the regular season for the first time. The Super Bowl may include a matchup between the two teams this year. Before last Sunday, the Chiefs and Mahomes had only ever lost to the Seahawks once, a 31-38 loss that Mahomes has now avenged. Seattle isn't the only club he's recently defeated. Mahomes' first victory over Los Angeles came in Week 11 when the Chiefs defeated the Rams 26-10. Another minor accomplishment was his victory against Tennessee in Week 8. He had lost his first two games against the Titans during the regular season. In the playoffs, Mahomes is undefeated against the Titans. Only the Chiefs, Vikings, and Indianapolis Colts have yet to be defeated by Patrick Mahomes during the regular season. In regular season matchups, the Chiefs' star is 0-2 versus the Colts, including a loss in Week 3. However, Mahomes has beaten Indianapolis in the postseason, winning the divisional round 31-13 in 2018. Mahomes has beaten the Broncos in all 10 of their previous encounters, making Denver the club he's defeated the most in his career. In fact, along with Arizona, Atlanta, Carolina, Chicago, Cleveland, Dallas, Detroit, Green Bay, Jacksonville, Miami, New Orleans, New York Giants, New York Jets, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, San Francisco, and Washington, the Broncos are one of the 18 NFL clubs that Patrick Mahomes has never lost against. Like Santa Claus, Mahomes can start ticking the Vikings off twice once he can eliminate them from his to-beat list. Next up, scores and takeaways from the Chiefs-Seahawks game. Patrick Mahomes and squad beat Seattle on Christmas Eve to maintain their lead in the AFC West. On Christmas Eve at Arrowhead Stadium, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Seattle Seahawks 24-10. The Seahawks record drops to 7-8, putting them below .500, while the Chiefs are now 12-3. The victory aids the Chiefs' quest for the AFC's top seed. 
Both teams went three and out to start the game, but the Chiefs recovered on their ensuing drive by connecting with Kadarius Toney for an eight-yard touchdown reception. In the second quarter, Jarek McKinnon's touchdown reception increased their advantage. The running back scored his sixth touchdown in December on a nine-yard reception from quarterback Patrick Mahomes, which is the most in the NFL this month. Before the break, the Chiefs scored again on a field goal from Harrison Butker of 47 yards. With a field goal of their own, the Seahawks scored before the period came to a close. Following a scoreless third quarter, Mahomes demonstrated his agility and ability to prolong plays with a running touchdown in the fourth quarter as he reached the ball toward the pylon. The Chiefs were up 24-3 after the TD and extra point. A six-yard throw to Noah Fant allowed the Seahawks to score their first touchdown of the contest. As Kansas City hung on to secure the victory, 24-10, it served as the last score for either team. So why did the Chiefs win? The Chiefs are unquestionably the superior team, as seen by their performance on Saturday. It's a huge advantage to have Mahomes as the quarterback, especially against a poor defense. Tight end Travis Kelsey finished the day with six receptions for 113 yards and two crucial catches that set up a score. Final stats for Mahomes were 16 of 28 for 224 yards and two touchdowns. Seattle's defense faced a difficult challenge with Kelsey and Mahomes. The Chiefs went to the red zone three times and got into the end zone each time. The Chiefs' defense kept the Seahawks at bay until they hit a field goal with one second remaining in the second quarter. The Chiefs' defense frequently gave them strong field options, and for the game's duration, it held Seattle off the scoreboard and out of the end zone. So why do you think the Seahawks lost? The Seahawks battled from the outset, going three and out on their first possession of the game. Their inability to reach the red zone did not improve their prospects, and very few highlights followed. Their offense did not have a response for the Chiefs when they finally went into the end zone. Geno Smith completed 25 of 40 passes for 215 yards and one score. He also threw a costly interception in the end zone on a ball intended for Marquise Goodwin. Although Seattle's rushing attack was more effective than Kansas City's, it could not produce the huge plays required to score frequently during the game. With only two minutes to play, the Seahawks eventually reached the end zone and scored a touchdown. So what was the pivotal moment in the game? The Chiefs were much in charge of the game from the outset, but they truly pulled away with that second score. A nine-yard toss to McKinnon. The drive demonstrated how adaptable and powerful the Chiefs could be, as the TD put them up 14-0. What do you think was the play of the game? Mahomes' ability to stretch plays will always be noteworthy. Mahomes manages to get into the end zone on a scramble that few quarterbacks can pull off. This time, while being pursued, Mahomes reached the ball toward the pylon and just made it into the end zone, increasing the Chiefs' advantage to 24-3. Finally, Patrick Mahomes stretches for the Chiefs' touchdown that fans think may have wrapped up the MVP award. Mahomes is enjoying a season worthy of the MVP. MVP, with never-before-seen miracle plays like his no-look pass to running back Jarek McKinnon, Patrick Holmes, 27, is having an MVP-caliber season. Another one of these plays is Mahomes' run with the ball. It's well known that Patrick Mahomes, the quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, is a phenomenal thrower. Mahomes can also produce magic when he runs with the ball, as he demonstrated against the Seattle Seahawks on Saturday at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. The Chiefs' offense had been dormant for most of the second half, but came alive in the fourth quarter quarter with an 80-yard drive. Mahomes' three-yard touchdown run completed it, but it was the incredible jump for the pylon that won the game. Fans were stunned, and many speculated that Mahomes had clinched the NFL MVP title with his touchdown run. Here's what admirers had to say. One fan commented that it was an iconic Mahomes moment for a potential MVP, and another said it was like Mahomes' fifth MVP moment. Another admirer directly added MVP to Mahomes' name and commented below that the NFL community was witnessing something un unprecedented. A fan also stated that Mahomes doesn't cease to amaze him, while one claimed that Mahomes would be the MVP and it's a done deal. So what comes next? In Week 17, the Kansas City Chiefs will face the Denver Broncos. Despite missing last week's game against the Los Angeles Rams due to a concussion, struggling quarterback Russell Wilson will start on Christmas Day for Denver. The Seattle Seahawks will face the New York Jets on New Year's Day. The Jets quarterback situation is still a problem, as Zach Wilson was booed and benched last week in favor of Chris Streveler, a member of the practice squad. Due to Mike White's absence due to a rib injury, the Jets need a reliable quarterback. So that's it, guys. Patrick Mahomes is having a spectacular season with impressive stats and has beaten almost every NFL team. Can the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Denver Broncos when they meet? Also, can he win the 2022 NFL MVP? Let's hear your comments in the section below. Please remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.